So now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to start building your very first mashup with Motor. So the first thing to do is to make sure the CLI tool is installed globally. So npm i dash g motor js slash CLI. And this is our CLI tool just for automating the, the creation of mashups to make it even faster for you to get started um, using the, the software. So once done, we can run motor create. And then we are prompted to enter some details about our mashup. So the name of our application, we're going to call motor-mashup. We'll be using create react app. We have one motor template currently available, our solar template, which I'll select. And currently, um, although motor works with all ClickSense deployment types, the CLI um, is set up to work with just ClickSense SAS. So we'll select that. And then we can enter our tenant name. So I'm just going to copy the SAS tenant. And an application ID, which I'm also going to copy across. And a web integration ID. So in order to set up a web integration ID, we can navigate to our SAS domain. And I'm just going to sign in. And we can go to the management console. and down to web here. And here we have the web integration IDs I have already set up. So I'm gonna be using this one, this test mashup. So I'm just going to copy this. You can create a new one if you're creating one for your own mashup. Let's paste this in there. And what this now is doing, it's running Create React App. It's installing some additional dependencies um, that we're using in this mashup template including Motor.js Engine um, and styled components and some other um, React software. And then it will connect to our site and we'll be good to go. So let's leave that a minute uh, till that completes. Great, so that's finished. So our Motor mashup has been created. So we can CD into Motor-Mashup. And I'm just going to uh, launch Visual Studio Code and we can take a look at our code. So in the SRC folder, you can see we've got a number of different um, folders and files uh, created automatically. Um, this is all documented on our docs site, which I'll show you a little bit later, um, just to give you an idea of what's happening in this application. But it's a simple React application with a number of different components already created um, and, and the template. Uh, ready to go. So I'm going to open the terminal and then I'm going to just run yarn start just to start our application. And that will open in localhost 3000. And here we go, our React motor mashup template. Uh, created just in a, in a matter of a couple of minutes. We have a multi-page mashup. We've got placeholders for different charts, different um, visualizations that you can add on your own using Motor. And we'll take you through an example of how we will add a chart to this um, to this mashup in in one second. Also, good to note that we have a search bar included, so we can maybe search for um, anything in our application and actually select on that as well. And we have our current selections box um, also. So we can go back, forward through selections and also clear our selections. So I'm just gonna flip back to the code. And if we navigate to the index.js file, you can see where the, the magic works and we have our whole application. This is the root of our project is wrapped in this motor component. 
and this is handling connection to the click engine and we've passed in a number of additional props um, just for formatting that login component um, so if I just demonstrate that if I was to to log out of our SAS instance and just refresh our react app we are prompted to log in so that comes for free with um, with motor you have your own login components which directs you to your instance once you log in it redirects you back to your mashup and as as described previously the rest of the the library currently is is headless so what that means is we don't actually render any objects to the screen what we do is simplify all interactions with the the click engine and we've seen an example of that already in this motor component so all we've done here is that we've passed a click config object from settings and this contains our connection all those connection details um, that we entered um, in the CLI have been populated here um, and you can change this so that's all you need to connect to your your click um, your click site okay and what if we want to actually extract some data from the click sense engine to build say a chart so let's have a look at that now so what I'm going to do is open containers go to our dashboard one container and then our row two so what I'm going to do is extract some data and then build a chart into this placeholder here and just show you how that works so let's import use data from motor.js engine and what I'm going to do is create a variable a coals object or coals array of objects which is going to contain the measures and dimensions from the click sense engine that we want to extract data for so I'm going to pass in a queue field of order date month and a queue label so I'm going to label this as order date and then I'll also extract a measure so let's set a queue field um, equals to the sum of price times quantity and a label of revenue so what we're doing here is these are dimensions and uh, measures in our ClickSense application so if we re-log in to our host we're using we're connecting to this Luke wearables application and just you can pick any dimensions and measures from your click sense application and bring that data into your your react app you can create any expressions that you want here um, use variables from your click sense application so everything is available um, for you to pick up and use now in order to get that data we need to use this hook that we've imported so we are going to return our data set and we're going to run our use data function passing in calls so we're passing calls into our use data function and returning a data set and then we can just log that to the console and i will just bring that up in the developer tools so we have an object returned let's refresh again so we have an object returned to our um, to our console with all of the data um, from the click sense engine for that dimension and measure that we have created so it's super easy to get data from the engine and then we can start plugging into our own visualizations and we have hooks for creating filters tables creating variables uh, bookmarks current selections so all that good stuff 
um, we have nice and easy, nice and simplified. Um, so all you need to do is just select the dimensions and measures from your application um, and we can return that data through Motor in a super simplified fashion. So next I'm going to show you how we could add a chart to our Motor Mashup and just how easy that is. So I'm going to be using Apex charts for this example. So we can MPMI Apex charts and React Apex charts. And in the interest of time, what I'm going to, going to do is just to copy in a couple of pre-built components um, and just show you the, the final result. So if we navigate to components, dashboard one, what I'm going to do is just copy in an area charts component um, which uses Apex charts. And this is a super simple component. You can see that we are in importing charts from a React Apex charts and we're creating a chart component in our card which takes three properties, an options, series, and we're setting the type to area. So next we can go back to containers, um, back to our row two, and actually use this component. So what we're going to do is we can import that area chart and then use it. So again, I'm just going to copy in some code I've pre-built just to keep this demo nice and short. So I've copied in the component. Again, it's super simple code. We're passing in options, um, these Apex chart options for our chart to render note. We are um, adding our X axis of order date, which is being returned from our hook. And we are creating one series called revenue and we're mapping through that revenue data and um, also that we are returning. A couple of extra things. So I do need to destructure data out of our data set, just to store that in a separate variable. And I'm also going to format the data that we are returning from the hook. So I'm going to set a QNum type to M, which is money and Q num format and just format um, that data being returned. Okay, and then yarn start and we can have a look. Awesome, so you can see now we've got our React Apex chart rendered in our dashboard, super simple. Um, you know, it was only a few lines of code um, to get that rendered and we are well on our way to, um, to building a, um, a mashup um, with a complete bespoke um, UI. And this certain library does give you loads of things for, for free. You can zoom, you can also export um, and download um, the, the charts, which is pretty cool. And as you build out your mashup, you know, we will be moving towards something like this. So I'm going to launch our demo, which is available um, for anyone to access. This is using our, um, our CLI template. Um, what we've done is added just a number of different visualizations, KPIs, uh, to, to show you um, what a finished output could look like. And we've got a couple of pages, help desk management, and sales monitoring. So this is the sort of level to the, of the UI you can um, you can get to uh, using Motor. We also have added here some filters so you can make um, selections and all the data responds just like any um, ClickSense mashup or ClickSense dashboard. 